what's up youtube macho man 0194 here in this video today i'll be showing you how to fix this itunes logo uh, you probably get this error if you are with iphone 3gs and you are having new boot room and you have restored to the ipad's baseband that is 615.00 and you get this itunes logo to fix this you have to follow a few simple steps that are given in my video and you will be able to fix that one thing i should clearly mention that you should use mozilla firefox if you have to download the files otherwise you might get uh, corrupted files like uh, in your uh, when you have downloaded the firmware you might get the iPods firmware not supported so to fix that you must use Mozilla Firefox uh, uh, I recommend you all to download the files from Mozilla Firefox and follow my few simple steps that I'm going to show you firstly you have to put your device in DFU mode for doing that you just have to press the power and the home button at the same time your device must be connected to your PC you have to press these two buttons at the same time if you are on iTunes logo you should press these two buttons when the screen gets blank you just keep holding the home button and leave the power button and if you are on Windows computer you will hear a beep a sound um, that tells you that now as you have heard so and okay now my iTunes will say that iTunes has detected a device in DFU mode so after that you will get this um, you will get this message from iTunes that iTunes has detected your iPhone or iPod anything which is held you are having in recovery mode so now your device is in DFU mode and you are able to restore it from the firmware now you are able to restore from a custom firmware I will put the link in the description for that so for doing this you just have to click OK here you have to click OK and then you have to press shift on your keyboard and click on that you have to restore and use the custom form where you have to browse the custom form where you have placed and then you have to click open and you will see that your device is uh, restoring and after that when the restore is complete you will be running now custom firmware and now you have to jailbreak it using red snow so you have to open red snow and then you have to point out the original firmware in red snow this time you have to point out the original firmware you do not have to use the custom firmware you have to point out the original firmware and you have to jailbreak it using red snow i'll put the link in the description for the original firmware as well as the red snow so once the jailbreak is completed you can again change if you have not 615.00 baseband at that time you can change it using using red snow loading iPads baseband and then you will be uh, able to unlock it using uh, ultra snow so this is uh, the fix for and this is the fix for the uh, recovery mode loop that that uh, those iPhones 3G's which are having 615.00 baseband. Some of my subscribers asked me to make video on this, so I thought that I should make video on this. And some other people asked me, so I'm I made this video and I hope that it will help you. So please uh, comment, rate, and subscribe, and see you in the next video. Bye bye.